No need for the jacket today. It is currently 75 degrees in Des Moines. Clear skies over the metro. We do have some cloud cover kind of on the borders of uh, the state of Iowa, but so far central Iowa dry and very warm to start the day. Pretty breezy as well. Southwest winds around 12 miles per hour in Des Moines. Uh, occasionally it could get up to 20 miles per hour this morning and even this afternoon. Pretty strong winds expected. Uh, it's out of the southwest right now. It's going to shift out of the northwest later on today as a cold front passes on by. This cold front is not going to have a lot of fanfare with it. Most of the shower and storms will stay well to our east in Wisconsin, Illinois, over to Michigan. A couple stray showers and storms are possible this afternoon, but for the most part, it's going to be a breezy and warm day, and that's kind of our main story for your Tuesday. A couple of very light showers moving towards Spencer right now. Uh, not a big deal. Most of us will uh, just get a, maybe a brief uh, sprinkle here and there, and that's about it. Quad City is dealing with some thunderstorms this morning. That's clearing into Illinois. Locally in central Iowa, pretty quiet for the time being. So that cold front's going to move in around lunchtime or so, clearing to the south this afternoon. Uh, notice that little bank of clouds right there. That could be where we see a couple showers, maybe a weak thunderstorm or two pop up during the afternoon. But uh, all of us are going to clear out this evening. Should be a pretty nice evening with humidity dropping late in the day today. So chances for rain pretty low today and tomorrow. Thursday morning, there is a 20% chance for some uh, thunderstorms in western and central Iowa. Uh, we'll catch a break late Thursday into Friday and then more rain possible late in the day on Saturday. That may continue through Sunday morning. Up and down temperatures for the next not only five days, but the next 10 days. 70s tomorrow, back to the 80s Thursday and Friday. It looks like it'll be cooler again this weekend with highs in the 70s. And then we'll bounce right back to the 80s by this time next week.